on screen you are seeing the 35 station double rotary tabulating machine we'll show you this operation in trial you are seeing the 35 station double rotary machine in trial here you are seeing this is the first shoot where all the tablets are ejected out you can see how smoothly the machine is running You can see how the powder is moving in the feed frame. This is the feed frame of the machine, the front feed frame. This is the free feed frame on the back side. Here you are seeing the suction nozzle. One is fitted on the top and the other on the uh, bottom which are for fitted for suction of excess no. proliferate powder and they are attached to the dust extractor the oil pump which you are seeing oil on cup. the the oil cup which you are seeing on the screen is for lubrication of the center pillar this is in off position this is in on position this is the oil cup fitted for lubricating of the uh, upper punch head on the screen you are seeing the screws which are uh, with the flap this is the anti turning device so that there is no doubling in a brake line when the impression is being taken while compression this is the oil cup which on the rear side which gives uh, lubrication to the heart of the machine which is the worm by which the turret movement takes place this is the hose hose attached to the nozzles for dust extraction on the screen you are seeing the dozer assembly to adjust the depth of fill this is done through the lever you are seeing on the screen the operator is adjusting the dozer assembly you can see the lower punch the degree is being adjusted so that you get the required depth of fill you see it is coming up up down there this wheel, this wheel when moved clockwise hardness will increase and you when you move it anti clockwise the hardness will decrease now what this wheel is doing is uh, it is lifting the lower pressure roller or lowering the pressure roller this is the hand lubrication system to give supply to the oil pipelines which we have fitted in the machine this is connected with four pipes on the back side of it the two pipes goes for to the lower pressure roll and two pipes go to the upper pressure roll for lubrication here you are seeing the hose of both the ends is attached to the outside connection where the dust extraction uh, will be fitted oh, uh, dust extraction hose will be fitted this is the emergency switch which you can lock while you are doing the maintenance or doing any adjustment this is a 3 hp motor with 1440 rpm now you are seeing you are seeing the knob for the adjustment of motor this this wheel we have given for adjustment of the motor speed which in place will uh, adjust the speed of the turret this is going to this is a clockwise turn and the speed was there and anti clock fail also in the machine rpm will go clockwise will go clockwise will go clockwise was there okay and anti clockwise when you move this wheel clockwise the speed of the turret will increase and when you move it anti clockwise the speed of the turret will decrease this is the upper pressure roll which you are seeing there are two numbers of upper pressure roll 
in double rotary tabulating machine and two lower pressure roll here you are seeing two numbers of hopper and the black uh, knob if you move it clockwise the uh, flow of powder will increase on turret and if you move it anti clockwise the flow of powder will decrease this is the control panel of 35 station double rotary machine on the left side you see this is on the back side it is completely covered with acrylic case here you are seeing the lower punch you can see how they move and you can see the upper punch moving This is the big dust extractor what you are seeing on the screen now they, this is a 2 hp motor what you are seeing on the top is the blower this is the back view of the machine here you are seeing the outlet of the machine and this is the hose which is attached to the tabulating machine you can see for one tabulating machine you can give one connection the other nozzle is empty where you can fit uh, the hose for other tabulating machine this is the on off switch what you are seeing on the back side of it this is the complete gmp model what you are seeing on the screen now what we are showing you is the effect of the dust extractor we have put on paper so much of powder you see the power of the dust extractor now on the screen you are seeing the operator is removing the tray where the powder which is extracted you will see in the tray it has been collected you can see the powder whatever has been extracted is being collected in the tray now you are seeing the suction pack which are attached in the dust extractor there are six number of suction back attached to the dust extractor they are tied to the suction assembly which is fitted on the top you can see the operator is using the jolting assembly to shake the extra powder which is fitted on the walls of the bag